Hey everyone, this is a really quick tutorial just to show you when you're in Microsoft Word how you can actually input the uh, some of the Boolean operators and some of the fancy formula stuff. Uh, a lot of you may not have done this before, but if you're going on a university college, you're going to be taking courses where you're doing this kind of work, you're going to have to know how to do this. So I've got to set up in a Microsoft Word here. I just set up a little table to keep it all organized. And uh, this is your ribbon by default. This is what you see. This is what you're used to using. Uh, I just want to draw your attention up here to this insert tab. It's going to switch the ribbon into all these options here. And if we come all the way over to the left, uh, right hand side, by default, we've got an option here to insert an equation. And that is what we are going to do. We're going to click insert equation. You can see I've been given a prompt here for type equation here. Um, I'm just going to run through a few examples to show you. So in the first case, if I wanted to say A and B, I need the AND operator. So A, Shift A, space, and then I want to insert my dot operator. If I click on this down button here for more, it's going to pop open a whole bunch of stuff. Um, it shows me basic math, but I want some other things in here. I want operators. And under my operators, you're going to see uh, several, but I'm just going to point out the one that I want. Um, there is right here a bullet operator beside it. Here's the dot operator. So I'm going to click on that dot operator. That inserts the dot. By B. And uh, by default, it italicizes everything. Um, I don't like the italics if I'm doing uh, Boolean kind of algebra, so I always take off the italics, just control I, and that gives us our very first equation, A and B. There's the A dot B. Uh, second one up, A or B, I'm going to do the same thing. I come up to insert on the ribbon, I'm going to insert an equation, click, type equation here, and that's just A, this is easy, plus B, and same thing, I don't like the italics, so I get rid of them. That's my A plus B. Uh, the not B is going to be a little bit different, but again, I'm going to show you how I get that over bar. I come in, I'm going to insert an equation. It's this type equation here. This time I'm going to do something different, actually. Uh, if you look up here at structures, if fractions, scripts, radicals, integers, large operators, bracket function, and accents. Uh, this is going to seem funny to you, but it's actually under accents. If I click on this little down arrow it's going to give me a list of all the accents that I can add as soon as my computer loads them all and we are looking for the one that is a bar it's right here on my layout I click on that you can see how I get the little dotted in box underneath the over bar that's a box where we can insert something so if I just press the back key you can see that it highlights I'm typing inside that box now and I do my shift B and again I go to my italics and there's my not B. Uh, a, X, or B. This is going to use the, the circled plus sign for the operator. Um, again, same thing. I come back to insert, equation. Um, I'm going to do A, X, or B. So I'm going to A. I need an operator. Same as before. Now I want, it's down here under basic N area operators. Um, over here, it's a circled plus. B, and there we go. Same deal. I'm going to get rid of my italics. And if I'm going to do the last one here for A, NAND B, A, not AND B, same deal. Insert, equation. Now, if you think about how this one worked for the NAND, I need the overbar across the entire expression. So we're going to start off with the accent. I'm going to insert my over bar right there. Now, I'm, again, I've highlighted the, the box that I'm going to enter this into. And I want to insert A. And then I want to insert an operator. I want my C dot right here. And then I want to have B as the second part of that. And again, I like removing my italics. And there you go. That's it. So you can kind of see where all the tools and buttons and options are right now. That should be enough to get you started. Hopefully that helps. If you need a little more guidance direction, let me know. Happy to help. 
but uh, that is one of many ways to do it. It's the way that I do it. And you're going to find that works out great for you if you're using Microsoft Word. So thank you for that.